Hello and welcome. My name is Eddie Ambler. In this demo, we will go through how to configure your environment to use a bastion to enable connectivity with your Oracle Cloud database services that reside on a private subnet. To prepare for this demo, we will need to gather the following information about the database service that we will connect to. We will need to collect the VCN, the private subnet, the private IP of the host supporting the cloud database instance, and the service name from the connect string to the cloud database instance. We will also need the IP address or addresses that you plan to allow to connect to the cloud database instance. For our demo, we will target connecting to our local SQL developer tool to a base database instance in the cloud named my19cpdb, which is hosted on the my demo db system that we created in an earlier demo. To find the VCN, subnet, private IP, and connect string details required to connect to our target cloud database instance, we will begin by opening the navigation menu, clicking on Oracle Database, then clicking on Oracle Base Database. On the left side, we will validate that our compartment is set to My Demo. Under DB Systems, we will click on our DB system named My Demo DB System. Under the network section heading, note that the name of the VCN, My Demo VCN, and the client subnet, private subnet, My Demo VCN, for later use in this demo. On the left rail under resources, click on nodes to display the private IP address of the host running the instance of the cloud database that we want to connect to. Take note of the private IP address for use later in our demo. To find the connect string for our target pluggable database, on the left rail under resources, click on databases. Click on the name of the container database named my19ccdb that contains the pluggable database that we want to connect to. This will bring up the database details page. On the left rail under resources, click on pluggable database. Click on the name of our target pluggable database named my19cpdb. This will bring up the pluggable database details page. Near the top of the page, click on the PDB connection button to display the connect strings. Capture the service name portion of the connect string for use in connecting our local DB tools to the pluggable database. Now that we have collected the details for connecting to our target cloud database system, let's begin the process of creating our bastion by opening the OCI console navigation menu and clicking on identity and security. Let's then click on bastion. On the left rail under list scope, ensure that you choose the name of the compartment where you want to create the bastion. Click on the Create Bastion button to begin the Create Bastion process. Enter a name for the bastion. For our demo, we will use My Demo Bastion. In the Configure Networking section, select the name of the VCN of the target resource that you intend to connect to. For our demo, we will select My Demo VCN. For the target subnet, we will select Private Subnet My Demo VCN. In the CIDR block allow list, add 1 to 20 address ranges in CIDR notation that reflects the addresses that should be allowed to connect to sessions hosted by this bastion. For our demo, we will enter 0.0.0.0/0. Using a more limited address range than we are using in our demo is suggested for improved security. If you'd like to configure the maximum amount of time that a session can remain active on the bastion, click on the Show Advanced Options link. You'll notice under the Management tab that the maximum session time to live has a default value of 180 minutes, which is equivalent to three hours. For our demo, we will accept this default and click on Create Bastion. You'll know that our requested bastion now shows up in our list with a state of creating. Now that our bastion has a static of active, let's create a bastion session 
that will allow our on-premise tools to access a bridge connection to the private IP on our cloud database instance. Click on the name of our Bastion, My Demo Bastion. Under the Session section, click on Create Session. For the session type, choose SSH Port Forwarding Session. For the session name, enter Bastion My 19 c PDB. Ensure that the IP address radial button is selected for how you want to connect to the target host. In the IP address box, enter the private IP for your target database. For the port, enter 1521. In the Add SSH Key section, you have three options. You can choose an existing SSH key file, you can paste an SSH key value, or you can choose to generate a new SSH key pair. For our demo, we would choose to use an existing key file. If you click on the Show Advanced Options link, you can see the maximum session time to live value is set to 180 minutes, which is the inherited value from our original Bastion. You can edit this value to a time from 30 minutes up to the Bastion value. Click on the Create Bastion button to complete the session creation process. You will note that our session shows up with a state of creating and a session TTL of three hours as we specified. Once the state of our SSH session is active, click on the Actions icon on the end of the row and select the Copy SSH command. Paste the SSH command into an editor on your laptop and make the required edits to the string for the following items. For the private key, provide the full path to your SSH private key, including the file name. For the local port, set it to 1521 for SQLnet or to an open port on your local machine for SSH. For the remote port, also set it to 1521 for SQLnet or to an open port on your local machine for SSH. Note that the private IP of the target cloud database instance is in the syntax between the local and remote port. Now that we've edited our SSH command, run the updated SSH command on your terminal to establish the SSH tunnel. Please note on the screen an SSH command example, which shows you what the SSH command that you will copy to your editor looks like and the required edits. Now that we've created our bashing session and established our SSH tunnel, let's test using it to connect our local SQL developer tool to our cloud database instance. Now that you've launched your local copy of SQL developer, select the create new connection icon. In the name field, let's enter my19c pdb. For the database type, ensure that Oracle is selected. For the user info, enter sys for the username. Select sysdba for the role. Enter the password for sys. For the host name under details, enter localhost for the port enter 1521 and for the service name enter the service name that we collected for our target database earlier in the demo now that we've entered all of the configuration information let's hit the test button to validate that our connection is successful on the left you can see that we are immediately returned to success status validating that our connection was successful Let's go ahead and save this password and save this connection session for later use. Now that we have our session connection saved, let's hit connect. You can see that the SQL worksheet has been launched that's connected to our database. Congratulations, you successfully connected your on-premise Oracle SQL Developer Tool to your cloud database instance.